be January, my pickles, my snowflakes, my turtles, and my long-term members of the No Matter What Club, NMWC. So if you see that acronym and you say, what does that stand for? And Blair Hobbs is our president and he is in good standing. So he will continue to be that. He told me I'm the queen turtle. I told him I'm bored wearing the same outfit every day. Ah, the life of a turtle. Are you new here? Does this seem a little weird already? Well, that's probably because it is a little eccentric because I am a lot eccentric. I'm a 68 year old woman who does keto every single day. Why? Because it works. Why else? Because it works. And so why switch it up? If it ain't broke, we ain't gonna fix it. And I love my keto food plan. It's the best that I've felt in all my life. And let me tell you, I should have felt better. I should have felt more energetic. I should have felt all those things a whole long time ago. 68's a good run and I like, I like it. Um, so I get up every day and I have my little mixture of, uh, I take a whole lemon and I squeeze it on some magnesium powder, potassium powder, with a sprinkling of electrolytes from Dr. Price, got them on Amazon. And I squeeze the lemon juice on that and then um, drink the whole thing of water. I put Celtic salt crystals on my tongue first. And then I take a couple of swigs of the water. I only like warm liquids. Um, the other ones still hurt my teeth. My teeth have never been non-sensitive, no matter how much Sensodyne the dentist gives me when I go there. But anyway, Life is pretty darn grand. It is January. The obligations hopefully are over for you. The food porn items that you have as visuals in your house are hopefully gone. Your fridge is filled with the best of the best for you to conduct your food program every day. If you're like me, I use the chronometer and I, I track my food every day. Fortunately, there's a copy and paste um, feature so I can move something that I like right on to the next day or the next week or the next whatever, and that saves me. But um, I put in all my foods and I like to keep my macros equal. I, I'm aiming now for 80 grams of like protein, 80 grams of fat, and I like to keep my carbs way down low, usually under 10, and I still have I still have good foods to have every day. Well, yesterday was one of those days. I made this delicious pot roast, which I'm going to try to go find again today. And um, and I use the Martha Stewart enameled uh, cast iron pans. I like it better than the crock pot. It's easier to clean, fits in the oven better, and all kinds of things like that. And I usually get this last pot roast that I cooked um, for yesterday was three pounds. And so it's a good size. It, it's going to make a meal and three quarters. Um, so Greg and I each had it last night. I had one version, he had the other. And the version I had was, I just got a new math, a Stuart green glass plate, don't you know, for my salad. So it's, you know, like this. And, um, and so I put the lettuces on that, 60 grams of the Daisy sour cream and add the eight ounces of warmed pot roast on top. And it was divine. And it was so good. And I said to Greg, I, when I like something, I could have it day after day. And he goes, not me. And I know that. He, he will have a repeat, but there's got to be a day or two in between having it. So having the pot roast on Tuesday means that he wouldn't have it again till Thursday. He likes to have things in between. And so I'm having it all again today because there's some left. And um, I will look for another piece to cook. But um, yeah. So today, these are my um, these are my macros for the day. That's funny. Sometimes chronometer doesn't carry over to my phone app what I put onto my computer, so that's why I paused. So these are my macros for the day. My calories are one thousand eighty-two. My protein is sixty-four point three. My total carbs, I don't do net, are 6.4, and my fat is 87.7. And so 
Um, it's a delicious day, and I look forward to it. And I have my one meal a day between 2.30 and 3.30 um, in the afternoon, and Greg starts work early, too, so it works out for us. And um, then um, usually, well, when I work, I work overnight, so I go to bed 4 p.m., and, um, and so that works. And I like to be up a couple of hours after eating, so it's not just sitting there, right? So hold on to your hat, sisters and brothers. This is going to be the keto and carnivore onslaught of videos that we're going to be getting. All these new people, they have tech skills that do circles around me. I'm sorry. I'm I'm just old school, old lady, and um, but sometimes new bathrobes, and so that's how I go about the day. I I got through the holidays. I hope that you did too without um, any damage, um, but I hope that if you did have damage, you were able to get back on track. There were a lot of true confessions coming in with each podcast or video that I posted, and um, my heart goes out to those of you that fall off, and it's a, it's a tough, tough lesson to learn because people think that they can jump back on, and if you had a day of damage, I don't think that that's quite as... Um, rough as as if you have a bunch of the days where um, you have a little something, little something, little something, that's a lot harder to come out of. It's kind of like the nighttime eating habit. Um, it's a tough, tough habit. And after, for me, for me, after two nights, then I, or two days of having a snacky snack or something like that, by the third day, I'm thinking it's like, it's part of the day. I should be able to have it all the time. So it's a dangerous slope if you're a recovering food addict like I am. It's a dangerous slope. And um, as my dear friend said, who um, was a client, she said, it's easy to do keto 100%. What's tough is when you lower that percentage and you start allowing goodies in. And there are enough keto uh, treats out there. I'm not, I don't, I don't snack and I don't, remote snacking, but some people do like it and it finds it keeps them. But one of my clients right now is having those emerald 100 calorie packets and they uh, totally enjoy them and get a lot. Um, it, it carries them. As do those little cheese sticks. The Sargento ones are my favorite because you can get the versions of cheddar and Colby Jack and things like that. And they, they do have some stuff in them, but uh, it's not as dangerous. Um, as some of those mozzarella ones where they're really um, not, not necessarily a whole food, if you know what I mean. So what tweaks are you up to this month? Are you doing different things with your food plan that you didn't do before, that you kind of started promising yourself in December? I cut out the cottage cheese in my salad, and um, I don't know if the dairy was stalling me, I don't know, but I, I'm able to go without it, so that works. Today I'm having the sour cream with the pot roast and the lettuces, so um, that's kind of a treat. That's my version of a taco salad with no avocado and no salsa. Yeah, it's kind of like a taco salad, isn't it? No, but it works for me. So I hope that you have a wonderful day. Let me know what's going on in your life, if there's any changes for 2019 that we would all enjoy reading about. Um, we honor your struggle, struggles, we've got your back. It's always great when um, you can turn here, be honest and get some good counsel back. Uh, how was your carnivore week? If you did the carnivore week, did you decide to just stay with it because it was so good and you felt so much better? I've been watching tons and tons of cardio, cardio, <laughs> carnivore uh, videos and uh, in honor of the week with Keto Mad Mike, the cowboy. And it's just been great hearing how everybody feels. I, I so support them. I think it's great. And so many things heal when it's just a, just an all meat diet. Not for me, but um, for those of you that do it, I know the benefits that you have. So anyway, I can see that Greg is getting ready to go behind me. So I wanna be able to say goodbye to him. And I hope you have a wonderful day. I will see you the next time here at Pearls of Wisdom and Food with Keto, doing total carbs and macros and weighing and measuring it and all those good things. If it works for you, 
I'm happy too. And if it doesn't work um, and you don't have to do those things, that's great too. You can find me at ketocoachingsarah.com if you need some one-on-one. -on -one. I offer little packages of emailing and chronometer and phone calls and things like that. Go take a look, ketocoachingsarah.com. It's just a little gentle boot camp to make you just get those good habits and, and uh, behaviors back in line. Thanks so much for watching. This has been Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food with Keto, under 10 total carbs. Bye-bye for now.